All right, guys. First part of this, we're going to talk to Lady Vivian about the uh, creator challenges for Minecraft and the Discord server that they have for that. And then we're going to jump into a chat with Neat Grease about the Igniter SMP and some basics on Blender. And I fought really hard to try to get the first part fixed with the audio, but for some reason it keeps on making me echo. It, it only happens in the first part, but y'all enjoy. Alright guys, welcome back to episode 3 of our podcast. This is Lady Vivian from the Minecraft Creator Challenges Discord. Uh, she's going to give us a little bit of a tour. And, and we're gonna, we're gonna ask, ask some questions, questions and hopefully get a few answers get, about it. How are you? Hi, everybody. Um, it's me, Lady Vivian, and I am the co chairman, chap person in charge of the Minecraft Creator Challenges Discord. Um, really, my man Gregor is the main guy. He's not my man, but I just say my man, but he's not my man. Um, he lives like eight hours away from me. So, uh, he is, um, we started this discord because we used to play on a similar, uh, type of platform that was run by a gal in the UK called Giraffe Queen. And she, uh, offered these monthly challenges on her discord. And then she decided she was going to leave discord. And we said, no, no, we want to keep doing the monthly challenges. So we sort of took over our own uh, and and set it up so that people could come play. And so what the Minecraft Creator Challenges is, is every month we have a different challenge. We try to make it something that will make good content, that'll be fun, funny, interesting to watch, but it'll only take between 10 and 20 minutes. So a lot of times we give you items to start. Uh, so we say, okay, start with, you know, an elytra and rockets if you have to find 50 biomes or something that, that will really decrease the time that the challenge takes. Um, and then it's often a case of whoever can complete the challenge fastest uh, wins, or it, sometimes it's uh, whoever um, gets more of something or depends what the what the actual challenge is. So uh, when you first come to our Discord, which I'm sure John will put the link in the description, um, you see the welcome general chat and um, uh, that's where everybody comes in and we welcome you in. And when you come in, your name should immediately be green. And that shows that you have been given the role that allows you to post your score on the current scoreboard. Um, I love that scoreboard. You can see, scoreboard. Yeah, it's great. The scoreboard is a is a, a Discord bot and it's called Scoreboarder. And it's um, really easy to set up. And then you can also make it like count up from zero to one so that the person who has the highest score wins. Or you can make it count from 999 down to one so the person with the lowest score wins. Um, so that's the current challenge that we have going is a lowest score wins one. So we have it count the scoreboard counting down. You can see over here on the side we have... Um, uh, places where we can talk about other things. We have chat about the current challenge. We have um, the rules for the current challenge will always be where you go to start the challenge that is right now. Uh, Gregor's posted the current one, which is pack your bags. And the goal is to fill your inventory with 36 unique items as fast as possible. And then there's always rules that tell you how to set it up. And then you just start a new world in your own Minecraft game. There's not like a, a world that you download from us. It's just you make a new world and then you follow these rules and do it. We try to make everything so that it can be played on either Java or Bedrock. Uh, and then you video your, your game. And then you come down here to challenge videos and post your video in. Um, you can see that John did pack your bags here and Goldie really posted them. Really <laughs> yeah, it is really fun, and they're all really fun. We've always had a good time with them. Uh, Gregor got tried to get under three minutes to see if he could. Um, so that's always fun. I think this thing can move. Can it move? No. It's just stuck there, my screen share. Um, so the channel, you're welcome to post your videos. We have also your channels here where you can put all your channels, and we try to go through and follow everybody and make sure that everybody gets a subscription on YouTube and a follow on Twitch. and 
uh, you know, everything. Because the idea is really to boost each other up, to build creator uh, content appreciation for all the creators on here. And we try to build up everybody's channel and share everybody's stuff so that um, it can be, you know, just more watched and get more views and, yeah. and get more attention. Well, I, th um, I thought it was really neat how certain creators, certain do, creators the do the challenges. And, the challenges and, 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 and like, yeah. Like maybe certain maybe ones aren't filling it. it. So if you so do, well, and sometimes you just don't have the time. You end up seeing end up like seeing like the web, the web of those creators of those that kind of connect. You know, like all those you know, creators, like all those are kind of connected, connected, connected to that connected challenge. To that challenge. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. And it's, and it's fun because the, um, you know, sometimes you don't have time. Sometimes you go, I'm just not going to get to that this month. And, and that's fine. And then I'm always the one who comes on and goes, it's only 10 minutes. Come on. Everybody goes, no, but then I got to edit and I got to like, oh, don't edit, just throw it up there. And they go, no, I can't do that. Right. So we have right. some fun with it, but, um, but yeah, it's really fun how, who decides to do what. And like, I don't really like ones where, um, you have to die a lot. I'm not a fan of dying in Minecraft. So I really usually do the at, ones really like this one. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I do it a lot. I, mean, I can't say that's I'm good at it. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I did like the one. We just had one last month that was how many different ways can you die? And that was a great one. It was really fun. But I um, don't like losing my stuff. I'm very averse to that concept. But uh, this one is fun because it's like collecting things. I like the collecting things one. So I have fun with that. Um, but uh, then we have like challenge chat where we all discuss how it's going. Um, Gregor showed here one of the starts he did. Some of us run it like 25, 30, 40 times looking for a really good seed. Um, and so when you get the current one, you can... Um, you can try it over and over and over and you can do it as many times as you want. Keep getting better score, better score, better score. And you learn things as you do it, you know, to get better. Um, and then when you have your score, you come down here to the spam channel and you just, um, you just set your score. You just do slash set and put your, it'll ask your name. And it'll ask what scoreboard you want to put it on and what your score is. And you just set your score and then you can go to the scoreboard and you can do show uh, the show command to show the scoreboard and it'll show you what the current rank is. You can see that I am once again not winning as usual, um, but uh, I still had a great time doing it. it and then you edit up your video. Huh? You what? It was, you it was a lot of fun to do. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, and like I said, you can do it again and again until you get better, If you're depending how busy you are. And then I'll put my video. I haven't put my video up yet, but it'll go down here in the challenge videos. So when we start a challenge, we try to think of what to do. We go up to your challenge ideas, and that's where someone proposes an idea. They go, you know, what if we try to capture 50 llamas? How long will that take? You know, and then we all go, well, you know, the, the wandering trader doesn't spawn in for 20 minutes when you start playing the game. So that's already going to take 20 minutes. You're going to have to start 20 minutes in. And so we then everybody leaps in and kind of goes okay except that you know this is going to make it longer or this is going to make it slower or well, that's a great idea but what if we started with you know this and and so it would give you a chance to um to share your ideas and the whole the whole team really builds the thing as a as a whole we build it as a group the challenge so i hear you binging a lot is that you leaving discord and coming back <laughs> I think somebody, uh, I think somebody jumped, jumped in and hopped back in. out. Somebody else. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, but uh, we, it gives everybody a chance to participate in the creation of each challenge. Um, and Gregor really is sort of the, we play good cop, bad cop. I, I kind of go, oh, I love it. What a great idea. Let's do that. And Gregor goes, well, you know. But there's this thing. And we go, oh, yeah, there's that thing. Okay. And then, you know, I go, oh, but what if we did this? And then he goes, well, but there's this thing. So so he has to be the bad guy in 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 kind of uh, keeping us reined in. But he does have a really good sense of what makes a good video. I mean, if you haven't watched his videos, you really should check out his channel. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. he, he has a great voice. He has a great way to edit. And he has a really good sense of how to um, how to make a video that's engaging the whole way through. So he's really someone that I rely on a lot. And we listen to him a lot because we know that he really does know what he's talking about. So uh, it's very handy to have him uh, sort of spearheading the whole thing. So. He gets to he a lot of really creators, creators in there bouncing on his round, not his round. Yeah, a lot of good people are in here in it. And we had uh when we started out, we had different people. We had um we had Giraffe Queen, of course, and then we had um 
uh, Gregor and and uh, before I even joined it, they had Skelly Rocker and Insane Netta and Brown Banana and some really good creators from the Roguecraft server where I play. And uh, oh, but mostly it was almost all Java creators. The only Bedrock guy was DJ Harry Bo. And um, but now we're I would say we're more than half Bedrock players and. Um, it's good. I'm glad to see that we're trying to make things that work on both platforms and that everybody really enjoys and, and can have fun playing because we're better together, right? right. right. What, uh, so what would you say one of your favorite you challenges, your favorite been? challenges have been? My favorite one. My favorite one was when we did a long time ago. We used to have um, uh, Ed Case of the Mob Cave used to play uh, challenges with us when we first started. And he would write these data packs that we could put in the challenges. And they only worked on Java, so they don't work for Bedrock. But um, but we uh, we did one where you went into the whole world and everything was black and white and gray. And you couldn't tell one kind of stone from another, one kind of ore from another. And you had to collect as many different ores as you could. So you went down into a cave and everything was just gray and white. And then when you hit something, it came into your inventory in color. So you could go, oh, that was lapis, or oh, that was redstone, or, that was, you know, or oh, not iron again. Oh, my gosh, I have so much iron already. And then you wanted like to get all the different over ones. Forest, almost, almost. Yeah, yeah, it was called Color My World, and it was really fun. It was a really fun challenge. Um, I like the pack your bag one, that collecting one. We did one that was called the green challenge where you had to collect as many things green as you could in Minecraft. And we, we defined green as meaning it had to have one pixel of green in the PNG of the texture of that thing. So like even a wow. salmon wow. has green in it. And, you know, so it was really funny to see the things people went, look, look, there's one green square in this. This counts as a green thing. We had so much fun with that, arguing back and forth about what was green and what wasn't green, but it was really fun, and, and you could get, there were so many green things, and I think another one that I liked, is, which was also a collecting one, was to collect all the variants of dirt, so you had to collect, you know, coarse dirt and and uh, dirt, and you had to collect mud and mud bricks and, and really mud. About and how many variants of dirt, 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 dirt there are. So many, and the and um, of course we had it. We were given a um, silk touch shovel, so we could get podzol, and we could get mycelium, and we could get um, uh, various other. I don't remember all the dirts now. Grass block and stuff. So it was really fun because you because um, you had to hope that you got a good. A lot of it is RNG, right? It depends what seed you get, and so you had to hope that you got a place that had several biomes close, so you could get the different dirts from the different biomes as you went but it was a really fun one we had a lot of back and forth on that one too but i like the ones that generate a lot of conversation in the group you know when it's just one people go okay i did it it took me you know six minutes you know right. and they post right. it on the scoreboard i like the ones where people are going wait wait that doesn't count that's not green yes it is look at that little pixel there you know and that's the kind of that's the kind of uh you know back and forth that i really enjoy when we get one that generates a lot of conversation so, but it's been fun. It's a good group, and it's and it's open to anybody who wants to join. We'll put the Discord invite in the in the description here. Yeah. We have a description, yeah. right? We have a description of this. Yeah, uh, I guess. Uh, you could probably pull it up probably on the screen right here too. Screen right here too. Um, I could. Let's see. Let's. I can do that here. Let's see. Put it here. Generate a forever invite, forever link. invite link. Invite people. Uh, let's make it forever. They made a new yeah. thing where you have to, um, there it is. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, see it? P-C-F-W-J-M-P-W-Y-J. -J. Yes. All right. Hopefully, so hopefully yeah. we'll get some we'll get new some people new in people that might be interested in doing some challenges. challenges. It's, it's, it's a lot more fun when there's, more, there's more people involved. People involved. It is. We'd love to have you, and it's it's kind of a really fun uh, a fun thing to do, and we have a good time with it. So, but there's a new one every month. We're going to start a new one, uh, probably next week. Um, we were doing it like kind of on the month part, but then we kind of got off a bit. So it'll be next week or or a little bit after when we start the next one. Have we nailed um, down what it's going to be? What it's going to be? I think that we decided it's going to be at this moment. 
you get an elytra to start. Oh, and you try to collect as many different saplings as you can and grow them all at spawn at one spot. So you get to start with an elytra, uh, an enchanted, you know, non-breaking, uh, mending elytra and two stacks of rockets. And then you can, um, all the dots, all the you dots. can go ahead and put, you build, make yourself a place that you're going to put the trees and then put the trees uh, in one spot together. And whoever can do that fastest will win. That should be fun. Should Most of the videos, videos are, recorded are recorded in like, in like five, five, ten minutes. Ten minutes. So like, so like, you may have, you may have 20, 30, 20, attempts, 30 attempts, but, but that one that solid attempt is only going to be like a be like ten, ten minute video. Ten minute video. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And we only, um, we only, uh, we only, and most people like they'll post their first one, uh, and go, okay, here's where I'm at. I'm at this number, you know, and, and we'll look at the, uh, we look at the scoreboard. We'll say, okay, you know, here's where it looks like I started back here. Yeah, the score got pretty score intense, yeah. pretty quick on this pretty one. Quick on this one. <laughs> right? So here we are, you know, at, at uh, the winner's Goldie at this point at 3,800. Uh, Gregor came in at 4,538. Well, then people get determined. They're going to beat, right? They're going to beat right. 3,900. Right. They're going to beat 4,000 at least. You know, so then they'll come along and, and now Gregor's at 3,464. And so now a lot of times Goldie would say, oh, well, you took my, my spot. I'm going to beat you and, and go back and do it again. And so we put post our first one and then at no matter how many times you do it you only post other ones if they're faster than the one you did that you have up there so anytime you improve you're welcome to post a new video and say ha ha i beat my time ha i got another one <laughs> but you know it might take you six or seven where you're way slower you know and then and i record all of them and then uh then when i get a good one i go that's the one i'm going to edit that one and put it up so so i actually have uh I actually posted my first one, which was here, 4165. And then uh, shortly after it, I did, oh, well, my first one was 8897. And then shortly after that, I did 4165. So I've been mean, at 6330. I'm, I'm cheating Toad's score. Look at me cheating. Uh, 6330 is my current score. So I'll probably try again and see if I can get to the four, down into the 4,000s. I never win, but I just have a good time with it. And so, <laughs> cause I'm never going to be the fastest. I love playing Minecraft. And so I'll start the challenge and I'll go do, 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 do. Oh, look, a bunny, you know, and I, and I get like completely involved in the game and forget that I'm supposed to be doing something. And you see me at the bottom of the scoreboard the there. there. I was there. trying, I was trying. More. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, I was behind you here. <laughs> I was lower than you here. I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, you know, I you mean, do what you can. <laughs> those, those relatively bad scores, I guess, make it easier, make it to, make easier to make a, to make a, second, a video second video on the challenge, video on the challenge and it challenge makes it easier, easier to make more to content. More content. I, mean, that, I mean, uh, uh challenge videos challenge channel, videos is, channel is, is just a treasure just trove a treasure of just golden just videos. Golden videos. videos. The amazing stuff. amazing stuff yes and we have a, a other channel down here where you can post all of your other videos that you're making that aren't related to the challenge and i work really hard to go watch every single one of these and give them a like and and put a comment and um we have so many now that you guys have all joined that all the uh, the bedrock folks have joined but um so i'm getting there but <laughs> But I usually like sit down with my coffee in the morning and put them on the TV and I go through and try to like as many as I can and make comments and stuff because everybody's so good. I, you know, I love the like merely adequate and Moss Logic. I love watching oh, yeah. when they come oh, yeah. when they when they uh, team up together, they have a series where they do D and D together. And I just love it. And, and so I really love finding all the new creators and watching their stuff and, and seeing what kinds of, what kinds of, you know, survival SMPs they're playing on and what you know, I realize is redundant. But, you know, so many of them are playing on these great SMPs and they're playing on these great collaborations with each other. And it's so much fun to watch. It's just really good. But I play on like five or six SMPs. I don't even know how many. And that gets boring if all people are walking, watching on my channel. They go, yeah, which one is she on today? Building the same witch tower in a swamp that she always builds. And, um, uh, you know, and so then when I can throw in the Minecraft Creator Challenge, I go, look, look, something different, you guys, today. I did the Minecraft Creator Challenge, and it's short, and it's fast, and it's fun, and it's, you know. So it's a nice change for my regular content that I think my viewers really appreciate, so. 
home. And home. it's and <laughs> we've got, there's so many we've people so now. Many I don't people think now. you can really, can ever, really expect ever expect who the next video is going to come from. Gonna come from. No, not at all. It's exciting. Not at all. Exciting. Yeah, I enjoy it. I really love getting the surprise and stuff of all of that. So. Well, uh, really I appreciate, you, appreciate you joining me this, joining me this evening. evening. This evening. Uh, uh, yeah. having a hard time, having a hard getting, time getting people lined up, lined up for conversation. I got plenty of people, got plenty of people interested, interested, interested in conversations, in conversations just, not just not free to, free to I mean, I'm life I'm happy, sure. life happy. <laughs> Well, when they realize, when they realize how, you know, how easy it is when they hear me do it, they'll go, oh, I could do that. And then they'll be, they'll be lining up like crazy. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, they will. And we'll do another one too. We could do a different one too. So we'll, oh, yeah. we'll just keep I'm, them I'm entertained until right other people sign up. To every single yeah, person, we'll, I can talk, person to. I can talk to. Yeah, definitely, definitely, and that keeps them entertained while they're while they're thinking about whether they want to do it. Right, right. Um, I will, I will find a challenge, find a challenge video, video to to throw at the throw end at of, the this end of this podcast. Okay, great. Um, and, uh, and we will, uh, we will see well, you I, next you time. Know, thank, thank you very much for joining us. Joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. I will talk to you soon. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, this is Neat Breeze. She's from the Igniter server. She's got a few things she's going to show us today. How are you? Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm having a really good day. How are you, John? Uh, not too bad. It, it's been a long one, but I mean, it, there's always things like this to look forward to. Yes, that's uh, definitely true. So I heard uh, you wanted me to show off uh, a little bit of my Blender skills. That would be really cool. And yeah, should I first explain what Blender is? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So Blender is like a 3D animation uh, program. You can make uh, 3D models in there, but you can also make uh, animations. And now you're wondering what has that to do with Minecraft? Well, actually you can also make Minecraft animations in there. You can uh, go onto Google or onto YouTube. If you Google MC, uh, Minecraft MC prep, it will probably pop up with how to make animations, uh, Minecraft animations in Blender. Uh, there's a, uh, the guy that made it actually has tutorials about that as well. Those are much easier just to watch those then let me, letting me explain it but the the keys you yeah, need to use and how you move everything is pretty well you it's a long way to learn all the keys so it's definitely not a beginner program if what you, you would, the like was that you started with a google <laughs> oh, the, the a, just google or youtube yeah it's uh, called mc prep MC prep. MC prep, yeah. If you type in Minecraft MC prep, then it will probably just pop up. Okay. So what it actually does is it makes you import your Minecraft world and then just like a little piece that you can then change and adjust. Uh, what else you can do with Blender that's also... a um, mod that you can no well, it's actually an add-on that you can use in blender itself and that is uh, more like a building add-on and it actually lets you you build stuff in blender with blocks i can show that later and that model you can actually export into your minecraft as a schematic and two big examples of that are my mega base from season two, the giant uh, 600,000 block tree that I made. Yeah. And uh, the 60,000 block warden I had on the nether roof. So yeah, I, I will give it. John some footage where he can also see that and show it to you guys. I'm, um, not, I'm pretty sure I missed that. <laughs> How did I miss the, a giant warden on the roof? I'm sure everybody saw it. Yeah, I believe everyone, uh, we have ignitersmp.com. That's our website of everyone that's on that SMP. And there you can also download season two. And in season two, I made a warden maze with a giant warden tree on top. And actually, if you go from spawn into the nether, you can just follow the skulk 
and where the water maze is, there's like, a, yeah, 200 block water and on top of the nether roof. And that's where you need to go in. So there's a world download on the website. Yeah, uh, we're now in season three. Uh, season one, I actually joined in the last uh, four weeks, so I actually didn't build that much. In season two, I made like a giant water maze, a really big uh, single player game that you can play and to collect artifacts with all kinds of ex uh, assignments. And on top of that, I also had the water tree. And yeah, it's uh, it, it was really worth having such a long season because if you want to build a mega base on an SMP while also making uh, content, you're going to run out of time if you really want to make something big and, and impressive. Um, or you're going to burn yourself out. But yeah, that's not what we want. So. There's a lot of really big names. Uh, there's a lot of really fun people to watch on Igniter. I mean, like, uh, uh, VidMC is on there. Uh, uh, racking my brain. I've and Dippy so Bentler. Many, yeah, Dippy's on there. Uh, yeah. Uh, the ones that I also really love are uh, Deno. Deno is like one of our, she mostly streams, as uh, she's more of a streamer. Uh, she's very active. She really has, the, has these catchphrases that just stay in your mind. It's like amazing. Oh, yeah. And then we also, uh, but we have, we have a really big active group. So that's really good. But we also have uh, zero hours. And that's like, uh, yeah unpredictable chaos in a fun package so I think catch but there are more of those. Dano stream. <laughs> yeah uh, Dano Dano streams mostly so she streams more to have the same reach a little bit as we with videos but she's really good at streaming yeah and it was uh I've seen a lot of black shadow videos recently a lot of dark dawn videos <laughs> It's, yeah, we also lot, have. Lot uh, yeah, there's a lot of fun igniter stuff, and currently we're also doing the hat games. Uh, this is where we each week we need to collect certain hats from a board, and there's a bracket system. And each week you go against someone else, and I'm actually going this week against Dippy. Now I already know who won, but uh, from us too, but I'm not allowed to say it. <laughs> So yeah. the last time I saw it is in the final four. Y'all are down to the final two now. Uh, yeah. So basically, it ends on Friday normally, but since Dippy is uh this week, this day she was uh going to a friend or something, so she couldn't submit any more hats. So I was also like, I'm not gonna submit any more hats. Yeah, you can just already count because it's easier for your video for Saturday. Then you have already done two out of four. Uh, so he w he already did uh, me and Dippy, and Blackie is in the same time zone as us, so we have until Friday midnight to submit like all the all the hats. But Fedora also has time to midnight his time to submit all the hats. Yeah, but Fedora, Fedora is American, and yeah. we are European, so basically he has a few more hours to go. Yeah. You think, you think so he's got a we're good gonna shot? Well, me and Fedora basically sold our souls to FitMC. So basically, I hope we do, else that would have been extra painful this week. So we're going to see. But, uh, you got some Blender stuff to show us? So this is basically one of the models I made uh, in Blender. This is a, a dragon skull. Oh, you made that yeah. in, this, in this program? I made this in this program. What I also made is the warden, but I don't know if I can find that one. Uh, I actually do. So you, you built Here. this in the program and then I built this exported yeah. it as a schematic. Yeah, and you can do that with two ways. You, It's actually possible to do this with Blender uh, itself to make it in a schematic. But I couldn't figure it out. So what I basically did is I made it in an OBJ file. And then I used like a website that I could find that also uh, renders it out. 
that I got from uh, Mr. FitMC. Uh, this is basically the model that I made here. I haven't discovered yet on how to get the colors. I have a, a program that actually lets me choose the blocks as well. So I already have the blocks there, but when I made this model, I didn't know, I actually still don't know how to get the colors there. So basically I had a gray model in like my Minecraft world, and then I still had to paint it all. Okay. So if you want to start with this, I'm just going to make a new one. So this is how you always start in, uh, in Blender. This is the default. I always remove the cube. What you just can do is you can just add a, uh, a thing. Well, wait, I need to search which one it was. It's been a long time. <laughs> you can just add a cube here and then you can adjust it by uh, going into the object mode. Uh, the other thing that I'm currently it looks doing like a 3D modeling program that I played with senior year in high school. It, it could be possible, yeah. So the one thing I'm working on right now is actually uh, this is Mindways. This is uh, the MC Prep I told you about earlier. Ignore that. <laughs> and basically, what I can do here is I can actually choose to open a world. You have the, the level dot file. Of which you can just open. Uh, this is the first igniter backup we had. This is probably December. Dark John doesn't even have a base here. And what I basically can do is I can just uh, drag this. And then, yes, I know it's too big. You can just select it. And then you can uh, render it uh, for uh, export for rendering. I'm not going to click it. If you have done that, you go to into the OBJ world import. And there I need quickly need to search into my many files. <laughs> Let me see. This is probably in here. This uh, is all the things I'm currently working on. I believe it was that I named it this one. So it takes some time because Blender is very heavy for your PC. Whoa. So now you're thinking like it's all gray. That's because currently I'm just in the fewer uh, shading mode. This is how the colors look. Oh, and is this really is cool. uh, with the shaders. Yeah. So I've basically imported like uh, the volcano in this case. I have the dragon and I have the rocket. So what you then always need to do. Phase. Yeah, you first need to always prep the materials. That means that they're, they're having... They can have, like, really weird structures, so... Did I already push it? Yeah. And what I then always do is create a sky, so you actually have, like, light. And this is how it looks right now. Now, I'm currently making an animation for the... For the igniters. For because I'm going time traveling in my next episode, which will probably be next Saturday because this took me a really long time. <laughs> and when I come back, you will actually see like the a little bit of the Lord of the Rings style, like an igniter flame maybe with uh, the igniter text running around it, and then this coming into view. And I don't know if I can actually show you how it's gonna be without closing this off. Uh... Yeah, we, we so for me... sure don't want to oh. don't want to go into spoiler territory. Uh, that's okay. I sh I spoiled this during my uh, <laughs> during my stream. I love spoilers. So <laughs> basically, when I build something, I'm first of I'm always insecure. How good I ever built, I will always be insecure. I know this of myself. So all the igniters also know when. I'm online, I've built something, I will probably ask you, can you come and watch it? Please give me some feedback. And it doesn't always have to be positive, but then at least I feel like a little bit better about the fact that I did do something productive. Uh, let me see if I can find the... I'm just going to show the, the part I made 
uh, that I just showed you earlier in Blender. Uh, here. Go. So this is my media player. So this is the part that I actually did. So if you if we go up here, you see um, the wings are moving. And you see the eyes going open and close. If you look to the right there, you see part of the volcano. I'm not an expert in this, and this is the first time I'm actually really animating. So you can see, like, I made a little mistake there. And you can see more mistakes. But for my first animation, I'm I'm proud of this one. Sure so here you see, like, the... <laughs> yeah. That probably. You see the volcano go up. And then we go around. And then you actually also see Whoa. the lift off. And then this dragon has appeared. And that's like just walking around. And that's basically this part that I just showed you. So after that, it will go to another clip because I didn't import the whole world because I know Blender is pretty heavy for my PC. I always try to do smaller parts. So for me, that means no Minecraft on the background while standing AFK. I literally need to do this separately. And I actually have a pretty good PC. But yeah, that has to do with uh, 3D. You did all so, of yeah. this in Blender. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that, that, this is with the MC prep. Yeah. Oh. And I can see if I can find... Uh... A picture of maybe of the mega base oh, yeah. that I made there. Uh, now I think I need to go into into my videos. I don't think I can I can find it. Uh, maybe it's in my pictures. No. Um, now this is neither one. Yeah, there isn't P2 full videos. Uh... Which episode is that? 58. Okay. Okay. Um... I will probably also send it to you. Yeah, any, anything you might want me to, like, splice in or edit in or throw in at the end, I can. Okay, so I will share this one because this is the mega tree and this is the one I actually also designed in Blender. Then imported import into uh, Minecraft and then I still had to, like, color all the blocks and stuff. So let me go on. It is a time lapse. So this is a mega. This is a six hundred thousand block build. There is copyright free music on this, by the way. How long did it take? Uh, the building is survival. Yeah. So gathering up the materials. Uh, I actually had farms for like everything. So that saves you a lot of time. The only thing that was a real pain to get was the the rooted kind of mod. And I did this did this in five or six weeks. So I first did like the bottom part that's still here, I believe. And then that was for one episode because I knew I didn't have enough time to build this for one. And I tried to upload weekly. Then I did the part until the leaves. That was again another week. And then I went up and I did the leaves. And the leaves is actually the first time I did an upload weekly. Because it took such a long time. So this, this took me so long. This is me just running around in circles. And there is one piece of the time lapse where you're like, why is he moving the camera so fast? This. Okay, that was an hour. That was an hour of work. <laughs> That's how many hours went into this. So I actually took like half the week off to make sure I could actually build this in 
survival in that time frame. And I have to say, it's that I like doing Minecraft so much, else I would probably not have been able to build this. And what's also really fun, and I don't know if I can actually find that back, but there are a few times, if you look really close, you can see it in this layer as well. There. You see, I'm not alone. There is someone standing next to me. So during this whole time lapse, it's really hard to see because it goes that fast. I always have igniters hanging around just in VC, chatting. They're, it's also your family. They're your friends. And it makes it a lot easier. It doesn't matter if you're building a mega base or if you're building uh, something small or just a little bit more detailed. Or if you're just like, yeah, I really don't know what to do this episode, then it really just helps motivate each other. So, and that's the thing that we have on Igniter going. We do have content requirements, so we do need to upload every two weeks or we need to do a longer stream. And, but yeah, it's for me, it's easy to keep it going. But there are people that get more motivated if they actually see other people online as well. So once you have like a really small crew that's really going for it, that's the moment you start to grow and it keeps getting better. Because what we saw at uh, the end of, well, not the end, let's say halfway season two, we actually saw that like the core was still there, but it was like smaller. And then we started season two, and then the core came even bigger. And that's when you log on and you're like, whoa, there are like eight people online of all different time zones. And that's, that's what, yeah, what keeps you going. It's your community. So I'm actually really proud to be part of the Igniters. And I actually really hope that I can do this for really long. It's, it's, so, it's yeah. really cool to see so many people pulling together to, to put something that awesome together. Like I just saw the uh the artwork on the igniter website change like was it like two or three days ago? It was I mean little little things like that just make such a big difference. It is right. I mean, there's yeah it's there's obviously a collaborative effort. Yeah, it's really it's really fun. It's uh, some of us are a little bit more focused on their content than others. I have to be honest, but most of us are pretty motivated by themselves to already make episodes and stuff. So everybody needs some motivation every once in a while. Yeah, it's it's like really good to just have your friends to hang out with. Because sometimes even I am like, I don't want to build or I don't have much time because I'm self-employed in real life. So sometimes I have a lot of clients and I'm really pushing myself to still get an episode out or I just skip a week. And sometimes I'm like, eh, I'm actually already done. I should probably already start recording something for next week. Right. So yeah, it's a little bit... Uh unpredictable for me how much time I can actually put into uh, making videos and stuff. Well, you guys do a good job on there. Well, thank you. So this is the the Mega Warden uh, time-lapse. So this is the one that I showed earlier in Blender that I still had to build in survival. So this That's isn't as big roof? as the tree. This is on the nether roof. This is just in Java. So basically, you can just use your schematic. And the reason why you see me doing layer for layer is because I, I'm using easy place mode for this. Because if I need to do this like without using the easy place mode, it would take me like three times longer. Oh, yeah. And then I would have like less videos and less time with real life things like my family, which I'm not going to compensate on. So, yeah. That is so awesome looking coming together like that. Yeah, it's cool, right? So how long did this guy take? Uh, well, this was actually pretty fast. I believe I did this in two days, of wow. which 
um, one day was around three hours, and the other day should be around the same three. Uh, yeah, I believe around six hours. So let's say for every 10,000 blocks, it takes me one hour. So that's with easy place mode. And easy place mode is basically you just run while you can place your blocks. So it, it goes really fast. And you've gotten really good at it. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the thing is that uh, all the things I've built actually in season three that we're in now, I've actually not built a blender before. So the dragons I actually do in creative myself. And even the castle I've just built in just a normal creative world. And I've actually been using a mod called Axiom for that. And that's if you're new at content creation or just in Minecraft creation, please search this mod if you have Java. So basically, Axiom is like um, a world edit for beginners. Okay. Well, basically, uh, with Axiom, you could actually see it when you move stuff. So it makes it for me as a visual visualizer way easier where to go what. I can just copy and paste things while scrolling and still seeing them on my screen. So basically, I don't need to think where do I need to put this. It also has like a, a smear action. I'm currently also doing a building streams on uh, Thursday. And that's going to be like, your, I'm building your crazy build ideas. Basically, people sent me in a picture or a drawing, and I built that for them in creative on the Thursday stream. That's and awesome. I also use Axiom in that, because it's just so more easier and just so more visualizing for me, like what can go where. That it's also easier for me to explain while I'm building what I'm actually doing. So it's a win-win for me. So is that a yeah. mod that would work with the Lightmatica mod, or is that something separate? No, no, no. You, you can just use it separate. Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit like World Edit, but then easier. With World oh. Edit, you actually need to know a lot of commands. Yeah, Wait, actually, I don't know you don't. many people that can mess with World Edit. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, Axiom is uh, like really simple. You don't even have to dive deep to just use the basics, like the, the copying and the smearing and the, the leading stuff. It's just a right click, a left click, and it's done. So it's like, it's the most easy mod to build within creative that there is. It's definitely worth checking out. Hold on. I know that uh, the one that developed that, Mulberry, I believe he's called, he also has a few videos about it out, and he also has his own Discord. I can send them to you after the podcast as well, okay. if you want. I can put that link in the description of this video. Yes. I think he's definitely going to be happy with that. All right. Well, it was, it was really awesome having you on here and able to steal you away. I, I know we're on different sides of the planet, and it's hard, it's hard for creators to meet up like this sometimes. Uh, you were just really in time. It's almost midnight for me, so it's perfect. All right. Well, uh, we'll let you go. We'll let you get to bed. We well, appreciate you joining us. Okay. Thank you, and have a nice day.